Hello, amazing parents. I'm Jen Stewart, an Anat Benyel Method Practitioner. And if you're not seeing results in your child's home therapy program, or maybe you've taken your child to an Anat Benyel Method Practitioner, but you have no idea what to do to support them at home to continue that learning growth, I want to change that because the truth is you as parents can access your child's brain through brain based, gentle, respectful movements right at home. So they can reach their next milestone and their next. No stretching, no strengthening, no boring repetitive exercises needed and definitely no pain. And because I'm going to show you brain based movements, you're going to see changes in your child, no matter what their diagnosis is, because you're accessing their brain's potential to reorganize themselves. And I want to help you gain the clarity and the confidence of which exercises to do at home with your child to fit your child's developmental stage, where to put your hands, and the overall knowledge of how your child's brain actually learns new movement skills so you can continue giving them the input that they need to reach their next milestone and their next milestone and their next. So you'll learn how to use everyday moments to create opportunities for your child's brain to learn new movement skills without driving all of the kids to different therapy appointments and without losing entire days for therapies that aren't really even working for your child. So I want to give you a little sneak peek into the mindful movement program, because this program is designed to take you from not knowing how to access your child's brain through slow, gentle movements to being confident that you're giving your child's brain the best information, the best quality information through respectful movements right at home by using an easy to follow six step program. I'm making it easy for you and for families with kids with complex diagnoses, help their kids access their brain's potential through movements that you can do right at home. No special equipment needed, no extra time in your day. You don't need to block out hours per day or per week to actually see changes. You just need a few minutes in your day on the floor in your child's bed while your child's even sitting in your lap. And if you follow me on Instagram, that's what I love showing parents is how to use everyday moments to access your child's brain. It doesn't have to be complicated. And I'm going to show you the exact micro movements that your child's brain needs to keep reaching their next milestone and their next and their next. So I'm going to give you a little tour of what's inside the mindful movement program so you can see what it looks like and you can get familiar with just how it works. So let's jump right on in. All right, so here we are inside the mindful movement program and we're going to see exactly what it looks like to be a member inside the program and what you're going to get when you join us. So you will get access to this portal where you can watch all of the videos right at home on any device. You pay once and you get lifetime access to all of these videos inside here, plus access to our private Facebook group, which I'll show you in a little bit. Now, I know how expensive it is to come and see me or another practitioner in per person. I did it for years with my own daughter. It costs a lot of money to see a practitioner in person for monthly lessons. And it costs a lot of time and energy that if you were anything like me with a child with multiple diagnosis, other children as well in the family, I just didn't have that extra time or that extra energy to make it to simple therapy appointments that I wasn't really seeing results with anyway. So I've made this online program as simple and as accessible as I can to help families access the potential of their child's brain right at home. To have that online accessible help right at your fingertips, I would have paid anything to have this type of support and videos to follow when my daughter was first diagnosed. 
this roadmap inside the program has six main milestone steps with, with videos inside each step um, of all of the variations of movements that your child's brain needs for each specific milestone step. So for an instance, there's step one is head control, step two is rolling over, the step three movements are all about bearing weight, then there's step four army crawling, step five independent sitting, step six learning to stand. So if you go and click on one of these sections here, we'll click on the head control section, Inside are short, easy to follow videos with variations of movements that you can incorporate into your everyday life. So you can build up those tiny pieces of movement information that your child's brain just simply might be missing. So their brain can coordinate that larger milestone of holding their head up, of coming into sitting, of learning how to army crawl. So there are the six steps with videos of simple movement variations to build those foundations to reach that next step and the next step and the next step. So again, there's the head control, there's rolling over, there's bearing weight, there's army crawling, there's independent sitting and learning to stand. Now, there's also some bonus sections in here. So these green sections here are all different body parts, all of the tiny little micro movements that your brain needs to know how to move your pelvis to help you learn to come into sitting, to help you learn to crawl, to help you learn to come into standing. So I'll just click on one of these sections here. So there's different body parts to, that you can focus on, the pelvis, the spine, the sternum and ribs, the arms and legs. And again, these are the foundational movements that I use with my own kids and my own clients like every single day. And they really help to build the foundation of helping their brain know how each body part relates to the other part and how, to, how your brain can coordinate it all so we can hold ourselves upright in gravity and continue to learn the next milestone and the next milestone and the next milestone. So that's a little peek of all of the different variations and that you can explore just inside the pelvis movement section. And then we'll go back to the main menu here. So those are the green sections here are the individual body parts, um, all of the different variations that your child's brain can use to help them reach their next milestone there. And then these pink sections are more bonus sections. These are two of my very favorite bonus sections here. This three steps to your child's self agency section is actually one of my favorites. It is the secret sauce to accessing your child's learning brain. It will help you as a parent make that shift from trying to fix the symptom into really connecting with your child and connecting your child to themselves, which is where the true magic and where the true learning really happens. It makes the shift from doing movements to your child to engaging and connecting with your child and your child to their own movements. So that's what's inside this self agency section, just short little videos walking you through how to really engage your child and connect your child to themselves while you're doing all of the other videos. And then this other bonus, this reducing spasticity without stretching has all of my tips and easy movements that you can do right at home to reduce your child's spasticity without stretching, without painful exercises. Because brains don't learn when they're in pain. You can use slow, gentle movements to access your child's brain, to let go of that, those chronic contractions that could be holding your child back. So many of our kids deal with spasticity and they're is a way to reduce it without force and pain. And so I walk through those simple steps inside this little section here. It also includes movements for both the hand, um, the arms and the, and the feet. So I will, so it includes kind of everything because I know often our kids have different sections, body part sections um, that show spasticity. So, so I show you the theory of how to reduce spasticity without painful stretching. And then I show you examples on the arm, on the shoulder, on the hands and the fingers, and also on the legs and the feet as well. So you've got all of that, uh, you know, no matter where your child's spasticity is, where it shows up, you've got some, you know, hands-on tools and tips and knowledge that you can use to reduce your child's spasticity without pain. And honestly, that section there can 
completely change the trajectory of your child's life. Like that section there, it can be worth the entire price of the whole program right there. So not only will you be getting all of these six different movement steps to walk you through the different movement stages and start filling in the gaps of movement information that your child's brain just simply might be missing. You also have access to the bonus body part movement variations, as well as these extra bonus, the self-agency bonus that reduce spasticity without stretching. All of my past Q and A's are inside uh, this section here. There's also a section on super easy, practical everyday movements, like getting your child in and out of car seats, uh, changing your child's diaper, toe walking that's a really big one too that comes up quite a bit so there's super simple easy tips that you can do at home to help reduce uh, toe walking for your child reorganize your child's brain to be able to have another option in walking other than toe walking so you get all of this inside the mindful movement program portal so this is your portal to keep you have full access to all of these videos here uh, that you can rewatch again and again start stop you can even comment underneath the videos and i'll reply to your comment as well if you need extra help but you also have access to a facebook group so this is our private facebook group just for members of the mindful movement program here um and I love to pop in here and one, get your questions answered. So if you have any questions at all, you can pop them into the, the private Facebook group and I will actually do a video for you and answer your questions for you. I also like to post weekly lives with weekly themes. So I'll actually walk through, you know, one week we'll take a look at head control. The next week we'll take a look at rolling over. Another week we'll take a look at independent sitting. So I'll rotate through all of those six steps, one per week and just give you a little bit of extra bonus tips and, and encouragement to keep you on track and keep you engaged with the process. Or you can just pop into that membership portal and pick and choose whichever video you're curious in, whichever video fits your child best in that day, in that week, et cetera. So you'll have access to all of these resources and videos inside the Facebook group, as well as what's inside the mindful movement program here, all of the videos inside all of these sections so that they're there whenever you need them. They're easily accessible. They're able to grow with each stage of your child. So again, the movements that are the most helpful movements that I use over and over again with my own clients and my own kids to get results these are the movements that are inside the program so no matter where your child is developmentally these movement variations will help build the foundation for their brains to create those larger and larger and larger milestones to help them reach their potential so the videos inside the program are all about building that foundation those foundational skills and filling in the gaps of information that your child's brain just simply might be have missed out on because of their diagnosis for instance my daughter lay completely still for the first eight months of her life so she missed out on all of those random little movements that you see typical babies do with their arms and their legs figuring out how to move their bodies in gravity my daughter lay completely still she missed out on all of those tiny little micro movements of figuring out where her body was in space and how to move her body in gravity those are the movements that your child's brain just simply might be missing that is inside the mindful movement program so listen i've been exactly where you are right now searching for somebody to show me how to use slow gentle movements that i can do at home for, to support my daughter when I couldn't go see a practitioner in person with her. It was so frustrating not to know simple things like where to put my hands, what movements can I explore to help her sit up, to help her hold her head up, to help her roll over, to help her move her arms, to help her balance and coordination. I was completely burnt out from traveling, from disrupting my entire family's schedule. And I was tired of searching and watching YouTube videos that didn't help anyway. And I was tired of spending a fortune on lessons to not be shown how to support her at home. When I got home, there were large gaps in between our in-person visits and I didn't know what to do with her.
but I knew there had to be a way parents can create opportunities right at home to engage their child in movement, to connect their child to their own movement, to help build those foundational skills, to help them reach that next milestone and that next milestone. So I did all of the hard work so you don't have to. I took a $30,000 two year training and worked with clients for years and years and took the basic foundational movements that any parent can do at home and packaged it up into an online, easy, accessible, affordable format. Thank goodness for the internet. We have this amazing tool to reach into your living room and show you exactly how to access your child's brain through movement. So the foundational movements are all there inside the mindful movement program. It's just waiting for you to explore with your child. And I can't wait to see how your child changes and grows and what potential they can reach because you've got the basic skills to support their brains. So if you want to know more about the program or check out the testimonials from other parents, just hit the link down below and I hope to see you inside the Mindful Movement program. Bye!